Greetings from uh, Geneva. Uh, we are going to celebrate the World Meteorological Day together with you. Uh, we will have our own celebration here in Geneva and uh, I'm happy to uh, address uh, your celebration in your country through this uh, video message. This year the theme of the, of, of the event is called Weather Ready, Climate Smart and, and this is very actual theme. Uh, we have been just uh, breaking several records in atmosphere. Uh, for example, we have now permanently exceeded uh, 400 ppm of uh, carbon dioxide, which is the highest number in 3 million years. And last year, 2017, was the warmest uh, year without El Nino impact. Uh, 2016 was uh, still warmer, but, uh, but there was a strong El Nino behind uh, that. So the climate warming trend still continues. And uh, we have started seeing growing impacts of weather on e economy. Uh, for example, uh, the hurricane season in Caribbean was the most expensive ever. It was 215 billion US dollars. And, and we saw fairly devastating impacts of hurricanes, for example, on island uh, Dominica, where the GDP of the country was dropping by 200 percent. So it means uh, two years. Uh, economic uh, input. It, it's a high number. And uh, we have also uh, been breaking records in global disaster costs uh, last year and, and we were exceeding 300 billion US dollars altogether. The recent uh, World Economic Forum here in, in Davos uh, was just estimating that the most likely and highest impact uh, issues on global economy this year is supposed to be natural disasters and, uh, and, and also climate uh, adaptation and climate mitigation faili fa failure would have uh, high impact on global economy as well as uh, water scarcity and uh, food security challenges and they are all dealing with, uh, with, with our field of uh, expertise. So it's, it's very clear that the need of uh, of the expertise of national meteorological and hydrological services and WMO is, uh, is, is growing. And, uh, and, and it's, it has an impact on many, many sectors and, uh, and, and, and that, that's why several of, uh, of WMO partners have been very eager to enhance cooperation with us, uh, 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 partners like World Bank, uh, UNDP, FAO, uh, World Health Organization as examples. And we have counted that uh, 10 out of the 17 sustainable development goals, they are highly linked to weather, climate or water issues that we are dealing, dealing with. There's also great need of uh, further development of the, of the services in, in most of our member countries and uh, further development of the early warning services and climate services and hydrological services. Uh, that's uh, from our perspective the best way to adapt to climate change. We were playing very important role at the recent uh, COP meeting in Bonn, uh, COP23. And uh, we were, uh, for, for example, speaking at the opening of the, of the event and uh, our reports on status of climate and green, greenhouse gases and, and disasters uh, was uh, high on the agenda of the COP uh, process. And at the moment, uh, we are a little bit concerned uh, because we are not moving towards uh, 1.5 degree to 2 degree target uh, uh, range of temperature change, uh, but rather towards uh, three to five degrees uh, warming level, and, and uh, so there's a need for higher ambition of the of the negotiations in the future. Uh, besides uh, implementation of Paris Agreement, we are also dealing with the implementation of uh, Sendai Agreement, and uh, to do something concrete at the country level, we have enhanced our cooperation with uh, funding agencies. We have already tripled our funding during the past two years uh, to assist our, our members and, um, and, and we have new, new uh, agreements with the World Bank, uh, European Commission, UNDP, Green Climate Fund uh, and also we have a new funding instrument called CRUS which is an initiative of the uh, government of uh, France. We are also uh, working uh, together with uh, individual governments to advocate uh, the role of uh, national meteorological and hydrological services and, 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 and that it really makes sense to invest more in, in, in those services. 
At WMO, we have all also been preparing new strategy uh, for the coming years. And the basic idea there is that we would uh, focus much more on concrete action, which is beneficial for, for the countries and, and their meteor meteorological and hydrological services. We, we are also in the process to uh, reshape our constituent body structures and their working practices uh, to be more fit for purpose and, uh, and, and, and to be able to provide better services uh, for, for, for the members and, and uh, use our resources more wisely. So many things are happening and, uh, and, and we are very happy to, 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 to work with you, with our, our, our members and, uh, and the meteorological services. And uh, we are looking forward uh, to your input on, on how we should uh, serve you in a better way. With these words, uh, once again, happy World Meteorological Day and uh, I will raise my glass for, for all of you. Uh, enjoy the World Meteorological Day.